Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is a card of someone who is feeling very protective over the situation or over themselves. They feel like they have to defend the connection or they have to defend themselves, um, but they feel determined to do it. You know, this is someone who's fighting for this connection. Um, they are acting in the best interest of the connection, and they, they're willing to, to stand up for this connection. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups, Water Energy, the Five of Swords, Air Energy, and the Ace of Swords, Air Energy. So they could be defending themselves because we do have the Five of Swords, which is a card of conflict, drama, not seeing eye to eye. So this person, they're trying to... to um, it's like they want to show you that they're a good person, that they're someone who you shouldn't give up on. With the, the Knight of Cups, that's them trying to win over your affection. Um, they could be, this could be a peace offering after this Five of Swords energy, and they do want to talk it out. They want to work it out, and they do want, there's a heavy emphasis on communication. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Aries. Okay, so we have the hanged man in the reverse and this is pisces energy so in the reverse this is a card of someone who's taking action towards you they they are seeing your perspective and they do want to make things right they feel like it's their responsibility to do that they they really want to protect this connection so let's see we have the queen of wands fire energy the page of wands fire energy and the sun leo energy so this person they have a lot of love for you and admiration. They do regard you highly. And with the Queen of Wands, they, they see you as someone who gets a lot of attention. You could have a lot of admirers and they, they, they don't want to lose you. This is someone who's even willing to, com to compete for you. Uh, like they really, they really see you as a catch. And again, we're seeing them initiating contact, them initiating the apologies, wanting to make amends. They want to get back to a happy place with you. Um, you, you are this person's like center of attention. You're the apple of the eye. They, they are very focused on you and they like the connection they share with you. They feel like it's a very healing connection and um, they, they want to get back to more ha happy times within the connection. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Aries. Okay, we have nothing will come of this situation void of course moon okay so there is a lot of negative thoughts going on here it does look like if you guys are in a dark place right now it doesn't look like it will stay that way um it's like it this could just be uh, a hiccup in this connection it could be some sort of conflict but there is an energy that you know it won't last with this dark energy we're seeing ultimately there's the feeling of restoring the energy the vitality to this connection okay so I'm going to pull out another card for you. Okay, we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay, so this person is very passionate about you. They do see you as a passionate person and they like this about you. So I'm going to pull out another card for you.
okay, we have playfulness to read the play is the real road to childhood happiness and adult brilliance. It looks like you guys will come out of this dark period. It's temporary. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out a card for your advice, Aries. Okay, we have surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. So this person is going to be the one to initiate. It looks like they're going to make a, an effort and you'll see that. You'll, it's almost like you're being put in more of a receiving energy. Um, they feel responsible to save this connection, to fight for this connection. And yeah, there's a message of allowing, you know, kind of receiving, being in that more receptive energy. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.